and the reviews have dropped. It's the big day. The Ryzen 7 9800X3D is available as of today, but guess what, folks? It's probably sold out by now. And the reviews are, have dropped. We got uh, this. I'll link to the description. This is from WCCF Tech that dropped yesterday. Uh, they're saying that the it's got incredible gaming performance and incredible efficiency. Of course, because the price is oh my goodness, the price is only three dollars more than the seven eight hundred X three D. So yeah, price wise, eh, you you got to the the only thing that's going to sell this. Uh, the only thing that's going to sell this CPU is its performance and efficiency. Price may be later. Maybe six months later down the road. Six months from now, the price might come down a bit. So. Sorry. Oh, the coffee's coming up. The <laughs> Sometimes the coffee comes up the other way. Um, so what we got is we got uh, WCC Uptech's uh, got a nine-page review. I will link that in the description. I won't go through the weeds here. Um, if you also look at Google, pulling up the reviews, you got Tom's Hardware, TechSpot, The Verge, IGN, the hardware subreddit is weighed in. Uh, Tech Power Up, they've got their review. Um, Tom's Hardware. Uh, the YouTubers like Jay's Two Cents. Uh, Hardware Unboxed and Gamers Nexus and uh, Nexus and uh, Kit Guru, they've all uh, the embargoes on the, on them. They they they're lifted, so their videos are out. But I wanted to bring this out to you because this uh, this is from the hard form, and this El Capitan makes a very valid point that you need to consider, especially if you do any VR gaming. Most. He's the El Capitan is saying most 9800 X3D reviews lack 1440p and 4K gaming benchmarks, but I found some. Now he goes on to say Gamers Nexus did it for the 7800 X3D, okay? But it's lacking for the 9800 X3D at Gamers Nexus. He goes on to say, being an anonymous reviewer, I understand the limitations of what you can say. And most notably, what you cannot say in reviews. There's only been some 1440p and 4K benchmarks on the reviews of the 9800X3D that gave, uh, came out today. However, I'll update with screenshots if I see any that come up with the bottom of the uh, uh, bottom of the OP. Uh, Hardware Canucks, Mike from Hardware Canucks says, We don't benchmark high-end GPUs with a mid-range CPU, just like we don't benchmark CPUs at higher resolutions. It's important to remove as many barriers as possible so actual performance differentiations can be made. This is a CPU review, not a GPU review. I'm putting this in context so it's easy to understand why we do what we do. But there's a counterpoint to that, and I brought it up numerous times in this video. Most people expect their CPU in the platform it's tied to to stick around for multiple GPU upgrade cycles. The only way to know if a CPU has the performance for that is to test at lower resolutions detail settings since it mimics what would happen as GPU bottlenecks decrease. And so uh, Kit Guru, uh, uh, El Capitan here lists sh uh, screenshots from the Gamers Nexus review of the 7800X3D and showing 1440p and 4K results. Okay? And um, he, he, this, the thread will be in the description. Kit Guru, though, showed um, some 9800 X3 benchmarks. And I believe he used 1440, yep, 1440p, Time Spy DX12. Paul's Hardware also did some 4K testing, apparently. There is uh, also some uh, 1440p and 4K testing from Optimum on YouTube. And he's got some slides. Again, I will link this thread in the description. Because the reason for some of this, Linus Tech Tips, of course, um, Tech Power Up doesn't average in their review. They average some of these, some of this out, which is pretty good. And then Al Capitan says this: In conclusion, if you primarily game at 1440p and 4K and have a good gaming CPU, there's no real reason and no real need to upgrade unless you want it for certain games. And I'll get to that. 
Tech power up says the average uh, frames per second at 1440p at stock is 161. Uh, the 13700K weighs in at 151, which is a 6.32% difference. Uh, average frames at 4K at stock is a 101.4. The 13700K is at 99.4, which is a 2% difference. And the average minimum frames per second at 4K at stock is 77.8. The 13700K is at 7.77% difference. So... He says, no, the 13700KF sold at $271.87 $271 new at Amazon October 28, 2024, when looking at the Camelizer's history. A 6.32% price difference based on performance at 1440p would be $289.05. Okay. Sumi responds, uh, thanks for stating the obvious. Anyone with half a brain would have known that. Also, I see no re real point in wasting time. These people have to make money, and time is money, on 1440p and 4K benchmarks when one can just extrapolate the 1080p benchmarks to get relative performance differences. If someone is playing a primarily CPU-bound game, they will know it. This, for the most part, is true unless you're doing VR. If you're doing VR, oh boy, you can't extrapolate 1080p benchmarks to get relative performance. It just can't happen. And this person in here, let me find it. Let me pause so I can find the thread and find the post real quick. Found it. This one from Mech uh, KB Fan. The important one here is the 1K, 1% lows in 4K. It's particularly important because I game in VR. And low frame rates make me feel sick. Exactly. If you got a low frame rate and a low refresh rate with a VR headset, you're going to get vertigo. Same thing happens to me lately. Uh, when I'm playing Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered, and the um, field of view is narrow. If the field of view is narrow, I get, I get, oh, it just triggers my vertigo. But if I drag down, if I set the field of view to maximum i don't have an issue but anyway he says uh unlike average fps you just can't extrapolate the 1080p results as competently to 4k um and he's talking about the one percent lows in 4k at 1080p he, he uh points out the uh tech power up review of the 9800 x3d as a source saying at 1080p the 9800 x3d has a hundred percent when uh, and one percent lows in 4K, the 5900X it's at 75 percent, the 3700X at 60 percent. When it comes to 4K, 100 percent on the 9800X 3D, 5900X weighs in at 94 percent, and 37X 86 percent. He concludes, if I had only seen the 1080p 1080p results with a 5900x, I'd think to myself it'd be worth upgrading. But really, six percent at 4K probably isn't worth it. However, with the 3700x, it's worth it for 14 percent at 4K. Okay, now you're getting into another problem here. Is if you if you have the 3700x and you want to upgrade to the 9800x 3D. To get 14% uplift in performance, prepare to open your wallet. You're going to need to spend at least, well, probably around $1,700 like I did on Edna. <laughs> $1,700, maybe two grand to build a system capable of this. You got to think, upgrading from the 3700X to a 9800X 3D, New motherboard, new CPU, new RAM, possibly a new power supply. Uh, it also depends on what GPU you're going to throw in there. If you're going to throw in a, if you're going to throw in a 4,000 series or wait for the 5,000 series to drop. For 14% improvement in 4K. This is if uh, VR gaming is really important to you. Then yeah, maybe the upgrade is worth it but you're going to spend a mountain of money. But that's not why I want to talk. That's not really why I started this video. 
<laughs> because uh, what really people really want to know now, after they've seen this, uh, seen these reviews of the 9800X3D, is uh, the big, the big sexy, the 9950X3D. That's what everybody's wondering. And guess what? Apparently, it's 64% faster than the 7950X3D. This is from WCCF Tech. Um, we're seeing, they're saying, uh, let's see, let's scroll down. Uh, the performance of the 9950X3D Vcash CPU was tested in Factorio, where the chip scored six, 655 UPS. For comparison, the Ryzen 7950X3D scores an average of 400 and up to 458 UPS, while the 9800X3D scores 537.7 uh, 500, UPS on average. This is an improvement of over of up to 64% over the 7950X3D and an 18% improvement over the 9800X3D. So the results here are in this chart. So the Ryzen 9 9950X3D is expected to launch in early 25. Um, the speculation, uh, the speculation is it'll be announced at CES 2025. So that's what we're expecting, but it looks like the beast is out there in the wild and it's tearing up the forest 64% faster than the 7950X3D. That's insane. That is, this, this is going to be an interesting Christmas, I can, the Christmas season. Because now, with the 9800X3D out, but sold out, once that CPU becomes, uh, gets sold and gets into our hands, we'll see more re reviews and more tests and uh, especially motherboard BIOS updates. It's going to be an interesting next two or three months to see where that CPU lands and how it uh, holds up and then we're gonna prepare for the 16 core 32 thread behemoth that's gonna be an interesting uh interesting launch right there <laughs> especially now that uh amd pretty much put the stretch marks behind intel's ears by maybe some bold anyway if you like what you see Share, subscribe, ring the bell to Gonzo Media. We will see you in the next one.